Good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. I'm trying to do an install so that I can start the day. It is 10 past 4. <laughs> it's 10 past 4, I'm joking. It's uh, I think quarter past 10 because what if the lights go out? They might just be low shedding. I'm expecting it but it still hasn't gone out yet. It's quarter past 10. Um, so this is the wig that I got from Love Me Hair. It comes in a box. Um, and I'm putting this on today because tonight we're going, we've got things to do, we've got errands to run and then tonight I have um, an event to attend so I'm just going to lay this wig on. So we have this bag that you're going to put the hair in after you use it, a very cute paper that has some writing on, then you have a wig cap and then you have a wig installing kit with all these things they even have hoop earrings i think i would prefer hoop earrings than lashes <laughs> will i wear the hoop earrings stay tuned so i am putting this wig on oh let me actually show you so this wig is giving teapot right it comes fully bleached i'm gonna insert insert a clip on how it Comes. I just want to get this out of the way so we can start this vlog also because I'm doing a giveaway um, I'll be doing a giveaway on this week. So well, let's not okay <laughs> So it's a teapot wig as you can see the knots come bleached it comes pre-plucked like I'm going to show you in this um, Clip okay, so I just wanted to show you how the hair quickly comes um, or how it arrives I literally just took it out the bag like this this side part that they have here. That's what they did yes so that's what they did so this is how the hair comes if you're not um like a professional quote unquote or not used to wearing wigs you can definitely just wear it like this um but i do just want to do a little bit more extra plucking on my end nothing deep maybe the next time sima comes i'll ask sima to um do it for me but it's already bleached so that's the bulk of the work done which is amazing and yeah you literally just plug and play what i did is that i went and further just plucked it and then tinted the lace with my foundation and yeah the, so because it's a teapot you can literally only have a side part but it comes styled like this this is how it comes literally this is how it comes so if you're a first timer there's really not much that you have to do um because they pretty much do the work for you so I'm gonna just paste this on so now that that's back on I'm just gonna gl glue it quickly and I'm not gonna do a, a I don't think this kind of a wig needs you to even lay it down with uh, a got to be that's just my opinion but if you want to baby do what you want to do I'm going to try this it's a ultimate it's the glamour thingy it's the glamour beauty spray that helps to melt your lace. love the pluck okay so the wig is in and i like it i really do like it it comes like this so you don't have to really do anything it's actually really nice so what we are going to do is i'm going to do a giveaway on the full box okay so to run this competition we're going to make it very easy all you need to do is make sure that you subscribe to my channel oscov because we're here but also on instagram make sure you're following me on instagram and on following love me hair on instagram that's the way i'm going to be able to verify particularly on that platform i'm going to probably put that all below but make sure you follow you subscribe to the channel then on instagram follow bully and at love me hair for bonus entry share this on your stories um this vlog on your stories with the purple heart and tag me 
right i hope i'm clear and concise so now we can finally start the day it is 10 to 11 i'm gonna go to the mall i don't think i it's a it's a complete must for me to go to the mall but i want to go to the mall and i will meet you guys a little bit later on when we go to the concert i'm really excited to I must actually buy a ticket right now i'm very excited to support Ule because i haven't been able to last year when i was supposed to support her so Besides social media, um, label actually also works. Um, I don't know what they call them, um, but like in a communications thing where they um, run or organize like certain gospel events. So this one that's happening tonight is also run by her. There was one that happened last year, literally on the day. That's literally on the day we were supposed to leave. So let's say we were leaving, it was a public holiday, I remember. Yes, it was around Good Friday. Yes, it was around Good Friday. So what had happened was literally the next day, for example, if it's a Monday, the, ne the next day we were supposed to go on Monday, someone passed away, my husband's dad passed away on Sunday. Like you can't make this stuff up, it's crazy. So I didn't get to go on that time. But she obviously she totally understood. So I was like this. And then last year at Sun City, which was a big one, um, we were on our anniversary getaway. So I said, this year, it's the year so we're gonna go and support her later tonight i'm gonna go my husband will stay behind and watch the kids probably invite the gents over or whatever but i'm gonna go okay so let me get this day started i'm wearing such a pretty dress from mr price i'm currently on my way to the event so what happened was i didn't even go to the mall i didn't go to the mall i which way am i going let me go this way I don't go to the mall. I just decided that I'm gonna stay put, wait for my E because I have to leave Essie with my sister. Um, because I didn't want to Uber Auntie home. And so that's what I did. So I ended up just going uh, to drop Essie off and then I was able to get ready, etc. etc. Very, very excited. I am wearing, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. I actually shot a reel, um, which will probably be way out before this. Let me put this there. Um, but I'll show you what I'm wearing. Um, in the picture, I'm wearing that sheen top. I told you I'm gonna wear it. I don't like it, but I'm gonna wear it um, up until I can find something that I like. Anyway, yo, I did the worst thing. I am struggling with a flu-like thing, and sinuses affect me. So obviously, sinuses are at an all-time high during this time of a flu thing. So why did I go and spray perfume? Like why did I put perfume on? Because I am seeing flames. My left nostril. My left nostril. Band, I can't. Yo. That's a nice soil. And I knew. I knew. But did I listen to myself? No. Just take a look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out and sometimes it Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't. But we could be everything. Good morning, Buttercups. <laughs> morning. As you can tell, I am I'm feeling much better. Last week was a mess. Last week was such a mess. But it is what it is, we move. So today we are I'm feeling much better. I'm just gonna I finished eating. I'm just gonna take my allergy i'm just gonna take not my they don't belong to me i'm gonna take allergy meds and um head out the house it's maintenance day we gotta do my toes i'm still not doing my fingers unfortunately i'm gonna do my toes i'm going to create skin and wellness i'm gonna do my toes i'm gonna get my wax sugaring please my babes let's wax okay let's sugar if we can help it um yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to relax my hair. 
Yes, I have finally decided that I'm going to relax my hair. We're gonna go today. We're gonna go to a place in Melrose. I've never been there. My sister booked it for me because she said that they are good with relaxing. They're gonna use Mazani. And she said she wouldn't recommend me relaxing because I'm a DIY queen, okay? She said she's not gonna recommend me re uh, relaxing my hair um, from full on natural to full on relaxed by myself, which I get what you're saying. But 700. Yo. But it is what it is. Let's go, my loves. Let's go and have a good day. my loves is the finished product let me zoom you out a bit sorry guys if the camera is a little wiggly it's because I'm holding you in my hand I think my tripod is in the boot of the car I am lazy I'm lazy so apologies but I won't be long this is just I came to show you my hair we definitely cut it because it had quite a bit of split ends again when it came to natural hair I didn't know what split ends were so if I felt like it was a weird end I would trim it but with this hair you can definitely always like kind of see it a little bit better so I think I'll also be able to maintain this hair very well so journey with me this is my hair this is what I'm used to and yeah man it's it's healthy they did a really really good job we relaxed with Bazani and Bazani is going to be my I bought oh, this you make your man. yeah so I bought that it's a it's a hairdress like for your hair and your scalp in case it gets dry and itchy but it's something that you can use every day anyway let me go it is literally half past four it's time to bath Essie feed her prepare her dinner the likes this time is actually quite hectic for me. I prefer no phone calls because they get um, in the way of my afternoon productivity with this child. Anyway, my babies, Sukuluma Sas. Yeah, the whole time. Morning, babies. We are here. It's a Saturday morning, and we had to just have some breakfast with my man. It is morning, yeah. Half past ten. We're not that bad late. We're gonna go to Paul. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to have a. What do I have? French toast. That's all I need. French toast. <laughs> I already know mixed berry and sweet caponi. Well, it's nothing different. Sorry, guys. I probably look like a raccoon. Let me switch this off. 
I probably look like a bit of a raccoon because I haven't finished my makeup. I'm going to finish it when we get on set. Good morning! It's the last day of the vlog. I think I'm going to cut the vlog after today because we've got so much happening this week. Today is Tuesday. Um, so I don't want to like give you a, like too, too, too much. I'll rather break it up into two and give, start next week's vlog tomorrow. I've got a shoot. I'm going to go and pick up my mom. Uh, we're doing a Mother's Day shoot with a particular brand um, that should be out around Mother's Day. So I don't know if I can say it, obviously. I think they would want us to keep it a secret because this, yeah, you know how these people are. So yeah, we are going to be there. I saw someone that I know on the call sheet. Um, I think there's three, I like to believe it, three influencers uh, with their moms. I will stand to be corrected. I'll confirm when I get there. But one of the ladies, I know. So we might just meet there. Um, in fact, we will meet there because I shoot right after her and her mom. Just going to KFC so I can get some food for, because I couldn't get breakfast. So I'm just going to get a breaky crunch. Saturday, I am um, shame. I felt bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So what happened on Saturday is we really just got caught up in just trying to have some parent time, you know, some couple time, some us time. Kevin and I had a date day. Hold on. Thank you for choosing Kevin. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Can I please have two breaky crunch wraps and yes. sugar? Anyway, so we had a date day, right? Um, and for me, the whole thing about the date day was we were just going to spend some time. We got auntie to come in on a Saturday, uh, which she does sometimes. And just, yeah, we were just going to go the whole day, which is great because now I get to spend time with Kev, you know. Um, yeah, so auntie came in, we left, we went to Paul's for breakfast. We walked around while well, we did a little bit of shopping for my E. It's really cool shopping for your kids. I, I really enjoy it, I'm not gonna lie. What's happening? Yeah. Mm -mm. Anyway, it's really cool shopping for your kids. Highly recommend. <laughs> but yeah, shopping for the kids, shopping for a gift. Then we went to Mama Samba, went to Rosebank. So we were at Melrose Arc and then we went to Rosebank, Mama Samba for some tapas, for some chilled vibes, um, even though it was quite full, but it was really, really nice, a nice way to end of the afternoon. Would highly recommend that you book because they don't just allow walk-ins anymore. That's how full it is. It makes sense. It's a, it's a very aesthetically pleasing place. But yeah, so that was our day shape. I felt like I didn't really tell you much. I was just showing you food, which didn't make sense. So yeah, today I'm going to end of the vlog. You're going to probably meet my mom. Uh, when we get to the the place where we're shooting in Bryanston, and yeah, let's do this. Yo 
How did it feel being behind the scenes today? <laughs> it's hectic. Is it hectic? It's hectic. Nerves. Yeah. Nerves. Yeah. But it was. was it wasn't bad. It was nice. Yeah. Let it me see. Nice. Show them your face. Mo, well, someone's on the phone. Oh, it's Tando. Hi. Hi, Tando. Okay, let's go home. We'll catch up when we're home. That time they were supposed to have been done. I need you to know that I'm tired. <laughs> I also got a lot of comments about my skin. So we're gonna do a quick skincare routine. I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna have a quick chat um, about stuff, stuff that I was actually just thinking about to myself. I am exhausted. I think people honestly think that this life is glamorous. I'm also gonna sh quickly, I'm gonna show you some of the products I bought that I use um, and like I said because I've been I had been getting a lot of um, compliments on my skin I thought it was relevant also because my skin has come a long way guys if you don't know if you're new here hi my name's Wooly I used to have hormonal acne um, and once the acne cleared and the hormones were balanced I worked on fixing the scarring and I think that's what made me passionate about skincare which I really love because it has opened so many doors for me it just putting my all because I would read everything I'd read ingredients I'd read this that and the other like I do a lot I do the most um so yeah I'm just gonna take this off and then we're gonna start so yeah anyway it's been I'm gonna go in with the CeraVe cleanser I don't have my makeup um remover pads cotton pads I need to get them tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to the mall, so I'll get them tomorrow. So I'm just gonna wing it. Anyway, so you can actually just use this first on dry skin, it's not a huge deal. And then you're gonna go in. So I'm just gonna show you the products and then have a conversation with you. Anyway, I was thinking to myself how it's both a blessing, but it's a lot of work. And you know, people often think that, um, content creation or digital creation or entrepreneurship on the digital end is the the easy way out or it's a very fancy thing um, I think over and above over and above being passionate about it I think there's a lot of grace with it you know and when you put your all into it because it's not easy to commit to certain platforms when you put your all into it that's when you start to see certain fruits. I just went ahead and rinsed my whole face. I think what I want to do is switch on this light. So what people think is that when you get free, when you get PR, it's either free, which sometimes it is, is gifted or sponsored, and that's the life. You get to work with all these cool brands. Sometimes you you don't work and you work and you don't get paid. So what I'm going to use now, even though it's in the evening, I don't want to use retinol because I had. I don't want to use retinol because I because I had makeup on my face the whole day. Um, I usually use an active at night. So I feel what my skin needs. I'm gonna, I love this during the day. Absolutely love this during the day. It's this SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic 3.6. That's how much this thing is. But this is, was gifted. Um, to me when I went to the when I went to one of the events. Anyway, so people often think so just put a few drops. And this is gonna help you um, get rid of dark marks or help your skin brighten over time with consistent use, etc etc. So anyway, we know what vitamin C does, right? But this is like the best top ten not to apparently. Um, anyway so when it comes to content creation right people think that it's very easy or it's super glamorous which is a thing which is a problem or it's a little bit problematic because people don't see you not sleeping at night like last night 
I know I have to wake up and be up at 6 but I'm sleeping at 12 because I need to finish and meet this number 5 deadline, right? Because this number 4 deadline, because number 5 deadline must come out this week. And people don't see that, so they don't see you burning the midnight oil. I think especially in the beginning, people don't want to start small. Not that everybody should start small. I feel like we all have different startups or we start differently. We are graced different, if I can put it that way. I remember one of the things, I, I always say, don't overlook things that other people overlook. I remember this one particular campaign, and I'll say it was the first one that I worked with with La Roche Posay, 2021, and I was pregnant with my E. And I'd gotten the La Roche Posay campaign and they were paying 2,000 Rand. And I think there were like three or four deliverables or something like that post. It was a story and then there were three posts or something. 2,000 Rand for like three posts. But I was like, so the one lady that we were on the video, or not on the video, in the meeting with, and she was a little bit more, you know, a little bit more well-known or known or had a little bit more following or had worked longer like her track record kind of spoke she was like hell no i'm too big for this and i was like baby so you get my way you're talking skincare not only did large pose change my skincare as a whole because i that's it was through that brand that i learned even more about healthy skin and taking care of my skin but through that brand, it launched so many more opportunities where now I get to work with brands like Vichy, La Roche-Posay, L'Oreal, and be under that skincare umbrella. There was an opportunity, unfortunately my visa didn't come through, but there was an opportunity for me to even go overseas. I share that because, uh, but like I said, I couldn't go because of my visa. So all these things that people kind of overlook and think that mm -mm, it's too small, I don't want to work for free, trade exchange, this brand is coming for me and wants a trade exchange and other people are seeing or getting paid and they have the paid partnership thing. Like you could be missing out on an, a very huge opportunity just because you're trying to be like people who have been working or people who are graced differently. I'm just going to go in with an eye cream now because my under eye is a little bit dry so I'm going to go with the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. And I switch up the brands literally depending on what I use. I have currently two eye creams on rotation. Just use it just to hydrate and keep my under eye anti-aged. So yeah, that's what it is when it comes to content creation. I have been blessed enough to be working full time. I know I've had a lot of people and maybe this is going to be like the disclaimer. <laughs> but I've had a lot of people ask me like, do you still work full time? Do you still know I don't I don't work a nine to five. I work content creation full time, and it's crazy because I'm more productive um, now than I probably ever was in my last job. I'll say my last job because it was more commercial, and I didn't learn or grow in that commercial space. I did the advanced night repair serum. So you always want to do thinnest to thickest on your skin and I keep it two, two serums max no need to do 500 if you do 500 that's fine so yeah I've been working um, full time and I know it's crazy right but God has been so faithful so the life of full time content creator has been quite you know very very interesting but for me personally super super fulfilling and I'm very fluid as to what will come next, but right now I am really, really grateful. Thoroughly blessed. Can't take it for granted. Let me just quickly seal my face. I'm going to go in with the Vichy Lift Active Supreme because it's at night and I really want to keep all, all that moisture locked in. Also, if you're starting out, there's so many platforms. You can either reach out to brands use or tag them when you organically use you know certain things or go to platforms like humans or beauty bulletin that will maybe oh, that will give you options to work with brands although you work with them for free but then it's kind of like exposure so you can kind of practice your craft and see if this is something you really want to do because like i said it is hard work it really is hard work. You really need to be intentional about about it. Okay, and that is my simple night night time skincare routine. Oh, darling, my <laughs> And there we go. 
let me go and finish editing. It is half past five. I'm gonna drink water. I need to take a laxative. It's in my pocket. I need to take a laxative. I've been taking laxatives like every other second day, every other day. Because 30 is a normal waza. But anyway, I hope that you have liked that. And I'll definitely be seeing you guys. I hope that you enjoyed that one, this video. I hope that you have ooh, English. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I'll definitely be seeing you guys in the next one because I'm to continue where you get it. Okay, my babies. <sighs> Let me go and attend to a two year old and attend attempt to edit a vlog. But if all else fails, I'll do it tomorrow. Love you. Always get tears. Just pulled up to the house. Don't feel like it now. I'ma just lay back and cry.